Hello, my name is Steve Thomas. I'm the HDS product manager for Lowrance Electronics. As a product manager, we're constantly looking for new ways to make our products better. HDS Gen 2 is a culmination of consumer feedback and Lowrance innovation. I've been on the HDS software team since the beginning, and one of our key features of HDS was its ease of use. From context menu to soft keys, I think we achieved that. It's fairly easy to use. Structure map takes away all the interpretation that the user might have to do. It shows your structure scan data on the chart, morphed and transformed in such a way that it's geographically correct. You never have to wonder where a rock might be in relation to your boat, because you'll see it all the time right on your chart. Overlaying information on top of a chart isn't anything new. Um, we've been overlaying radar information and weather information most recently for many years. We developed Structure Map because a lot of the early adopters of Structure Scan were having difficulty interpreting it. So overlaying the structure information on top of the chart allows you to better see where that structure is positioned in relation to your vessel. Whenever you make a turn or any type of movement with your boat, you should see a nice, clean, seamless picture on the chart at all times. Uh, it took many hours to perfect how we fill in gaps or pinholes in the data, but now you should see a clean, seamless picture all the time. The ideal speeds you'd want to keep your boat at when using structure map are typically the same you might want to use with structure scan. Uh, a good speed would be three to four miles per hour as you would with structure scan, but a max speed of structure map would be under around 10 miles per hour. Another nice feature of the HDS Gen 2 product is the much faster processor. It makes the entire experience of using the MFD on the water so much easier. The most exciting part about structure map is that it can happen real time live there on your boat. Just a normal usage just while you're driving. It just works all the time. And that's only possible because HDS Gen 2 has a much faster processor than the original HDS. This is, I gotta tell you something though, this is so unique because what I'm seeing, you know, this is the first time seeing this thing, what I'm seeing is how much the structure follows the contours that I've never seen before. Yeah. I mean, just, you know, never even been able to pick that out before. You just know there's something there, yeah. but you don't realize that this vein follows this, this contour line or this follows, it. it's really unique. This is awesome. I mean, just being able to see yeah, you know, the, the high spot here, of course, you can see how it's getting shallower right there and rocks on both sides. And look at the, the different levels. They're almost exactly following your, your contour lines. That's, a, that's incredible. I mean, this is a spot right here where it pinches down. I'd go, yeah, I want to fish that. Now, can we track back and, and waypoint it like, like we used to do with structure scan? Absolutely. You can, uh, it's, it's very simple. Just activate your cursor on the chart, position it where you want it, hit the enter key once, save, save. it as a waypoint, and you're good to go. Uh. So it's just, every, all the features that we used to have are still there. Absolutely. We didn't take anything away. It just added, added. It added this, this ability to uh, see things from a different perspective on top of the chart. It's, I just can't believe how much difference it makes. I mean, that's, that's the biggest thing that I've noticed is that how easy it is to interpret and how all of a sudden it puts everything in perspective to where you understand it. Very, very simple. Exactly. One of the greatest things about the Generation 2 HDS is that you don't lose anything from Generation 1, meaning all the same features you have, you have on the Generation 2. One of my favorite things is the four panel screen. So if I hit my pages button here and I already have it preset, I go to my, and you can see how fast the processing speed, this thing goes micro fast, just instantly. But you can see now I have all my screens. I have my, my structure scan, I have my down scan imaging, I have my sonar, and I have my mapping with my, so it's called structure map now, I have my mapping with my structure overlay. How cool is that? Because now I can take all this information and put it on the map and know exactly what I have. And it's so simple to interpret because it gives you the contour so you can see, you know, here I'm coming up to a creek channel and I can see where the rocks are in relation to the channel, where they are in relation to the drop off, it makes everything so simple. That's structure map.